Hi Leo, welcome to Island Girl Tarot and welcome to your October 2016 uh, general reading. Uh, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I do want to give you all a heads up about astrojar.com. Um, it's going to be a new website where you're going to have tabs. You can go up to Leo, hit Leo. It'll bring down all of the horoscopes, tarot uh, readings, and astrology readings uh, that all these readers have wanted to upload there. So everything, everything and everybody will be in one place. So that's astrojar.com. Once I figure out how to get them uploaded, I'll do that. <laughs> um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if I didn't say it. Uh, hop over to my Facebook page. That's where I do my contest off of. Let's see what else. Um, that's all I can think of for right now. Let's see. Leo. October 2016. What is it, Leo? Alright, I had those stickers right there. I'm going to shuffle them one time. They fell out. I had a big clump fall out, and I'm not going to. just going to do this. October 2016. There we go. Alright. Well, Leo, okay, the, um, why am I not getting this right? There we go. The um, bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. Sorry, y'all. Um, all right, the King of Swords is the center, and um, I don't know whether... Something happened to you all that suddenly just shook everything up. Hang on, let me look at this right quick. Um, I've got the king. Of, oh, I'm sorry. That's the emperor. It's the king of swords. The emperor tower. Ten of swords. You know, Leo, it looks like um, this is you. Is the six of wands. Is the fire sign. And you were riding high, and everything was good, and then something happened. Something very unexpected happened, and or may happen soon, um, because the tower is always a card of immediacy. Um, but you were able to control it as the emperor, as the emperor is always in control. Um, Whatever this situation is, or you get word news about, I've got the Eight of Wands in here, which is also a communication card. Um, you know, it 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 looks like that it could be that someone passes away, and you have to deal with the situation, calling people, telling them about it, but you deal with it. And I don't show that this is a devastating loss. I think this is something you might be expecting. But it shows you having to deal with the details, uh, calling people, letting them know, perhaps traveling to take care of funeral arrangements. Um, there's that end of it. With, um, but I also see that before, if we take it back and take the death out of it, Whatever this event was, you handled it, you moved on, but I think it might happen again. Whatever, not a death, it, take the death out of it. If we just, if that's not the scenario, if that doesn't resonate, then whatever the situation is that you've either walked away from or have decided to change or thought you've changed, it's going, it, it's going to reoccur. For me, I know the Eight of Pentacles is a card of. Um, 
mastery in, in knowing exactly what you're doing and, and being great at your craft. For me, and in this case with the other cards, for me it's a repeat card. It's something that's happening again and again and again, or you know, will happen again. And so I see whatever this issue was that caused you to leave and that you departed from your last scenario, it's going to happen again. But the next time it happens will be the last time it happens. It's not going to happen again. Whatever, whatever all the information, all of the minutiae that you've left behind, because this is you with the Nine of Wands, having gone through all of it, um, you've got one more. You've got one more shoe to drop, and then you'll, of course, be to the Ten of Wands. Um, but then it's going to be over. And then that's going to be the end of it. The ten, the ten of Swords is going to end all of whatever this. And I, I can't. It's, it's something that was unexpected. I'm sorry. It's the Tower card. I'm trying to. Let me see if I can clarify this Tower card. Yeah. Let me use the Albano. Uh, to terrify. What was the incident? What was? What is the issue that they've had to move away from and handle? What is the issue? What is that? The King of Cups popped out, but um, maybe. I just don't feel like this is a love reading. What is the tower? Clarify the tower for me. What is this unexpected event around? Well, you know, it could be the sudden, isn't that interesting? And then I got the Eight of Wands again. Um, I, it, could be, it could have been the sudden loss of a job, or suddenly maybe not on your, anything to do with you, but maybe the company closed or something to that effect and um, very suddenly and it was just an end all of a sudden it's one of these you know you walk up and you know the doors are locked but what whatever is going to happen you're going to deal with it okay you're gonna be successful um, you're gonna have to you know load up all your stuff and move to a different job area whatever it was the last card I got was the Page of Cups, which to me is, in this scenario, is an offering. It's an offer of a new job, a new beginning, a new scenario. As I said, you're going to have to take this and apply it to you. could have so many different meanings. Um, like I said, once you take the, to me, the obvious death scenario out, it could almost be anything. Um, the Clarifier cards were the Ace of Swords and the... Uh, the Six of Pentacles, which is why I, I, I just makes me realize that, it, that this was a work scenario. Uh, the Nine of Swords was the bottom of the deck, and you know you're obviously up, worried to death about this. So that's the overall energy. But you're going to handle it, okay? You've got the Six of Swords and the Page of Cups as your outcome, so you're going to handle it, okay? It's going to seem overwhelming, but again, this is going to be the worst. All right, you're, you know, the Ten of Swords is here. That means it's going to be an end to it. We're done. We're only going up from there. All right, so don't worry about it. I know it seems overwhelming, but you're going to be able to deal with this. All right, Leo, you're my fire sign. You guys, strength and courage. You can do this. Don't let this get who or whatever gets you down. And y'all try and have a good month. Look for my daily readings, and I'll be dropping uh, financial and love uh, tarot readings shortly. Bye-bye, Leo. Have a great October.